Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to do something I rarely do. I've done it once before, but uh, it's a little quick product review or tool review. Uh, and it's a, a really great idea. I really like this. We all have come across a problem, issues, struggles with getting a bolt that is in this position at the bottom of the engine or transmission or the frame, whatever. And you come in and you grab your your uh, your socket, you put it on top, you remove it, and then when it comes time to take it out, it just falls down and it goes somewhere, some little crevice, and you just can't retrieve it. It's very frustrating. You lose the you lose the bolt, and then you lose a whole pile of time trying to retrieve it because it's a specific size. It could be a, a metric size. It could be uh, uh, the U European standards as well. Um, so this tool is a magnetic socket extension. So right at the very tip, okay, right there, I don't know what that's going to show up, but right there is a very powerful little magnet. And if you compare that against a standard extension, that's all it is. Okay. And I can tell you right now, I've tried it and I am very, very impressed. So let's just pop this guy right in there and you'll notice it goes right down. You see the magnet right there. It comes up and you still have at least half an inch of room in your socket inside for the bolt to go in. So let's take a look here. Okay, standard bolt goes in, right? It's fully covered, but now watch this. Okay. It's not coming out. It's powerful. It's in there. Now, they come in multiple sizes. You have, this is the half inch. Uh, where's the uh, half inch, three quarters, and the, sorry, the three eighths and the half and the one quarter size. And they all work very well. So we've done this guy. Let's move on to this guy and see how well this one works. All right, that's a three eighths one. Bingo. Okay, same thing. Okay, very powerful. Let's move on to the uh, one quarter inch drive. There it is. Pop it in. See the bolt? It's in there deep enough. So if I go like this, it ain't coming out. So, for example, when. Uh, you got a Mercedes or a Crossfire or something like that and you got the crank position sensor we all know that that nut that bolt sorry that bolt uh, can be a pain in the butt because it's sitting right on top of the transmission and it's like well it's like this this angle and when you come time to pull out unless you start filling the inside of the socket with let's say a piece of Kleenex a paper towel chewing gum I mean, those all work. The only problem is, is it's not guaranteed to come back out. So it, uh, on top of that, th that, that piece of paper towel or that uh, Kleenex could fall somewhere on your engine, let's say near the exhaust, super hot, uh, that could catch on fire, cause a lot of problems right there as well. So on the safe side, this, th this thing is well worth the 30 bucks I paid. I can't remember how much I paid. I got it on Amazon. Uh, with COVID, I guess we're all in a little bit of a shopping spree right now, which uh, I can admit that I am guilty as well. But uh, hey, you know, great little tools like these, they they save major headaches. Um, what's nice about them is it comes in all sorts of lengths. Let me show you this here. I'm just going to pop these guys away real quick. But they come in all sorts of lengths. Okay. And yeah, I'll even show you who makes it in this one. This one is a Steelman Magnetic Tool Extension Set. It's a nine piece. And yeah, as you can see, all different lengths from little stubby guys, okay, short and stubby, to about some nine and a half inches. Uh, you've got everything in between as well, all three sizes. So great, great tool to have. Put it in your car. Keep it with you because the best place to have your tools when your car breaks down is in your car.
because you can't always limp it back home uh, unless you're close. And uh, if you're a DIYer uh, and you've got the uh, the tools and the parts and everything else in your trunk, for example, like a little crank position sensor, I mean, that's a, a tiny little part like that. You got that in your set in your trunk, you're all set. You got nothing to worry about. Now, another little tool as well, besides this, is, and I'm going to show you the, the, the difference in the tips, okay? So this is the magnet, magnetic one. So you can see this extended portion right here, okay? This is a standard one, okay? So you can see the difference right there. This third one is a pivot one, or at least I call it a pivot, okay? You can kind of see the top here has a bevel. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to tell with the camera, but there's a little bevel there. And the reason for that bevel is sometimes you get into a position where you're trying to get to a bolt and the bolt is just a little bit of too much of an angle and you need just to angle it down, but you don't have the room because there's a bar, something miss, messing you up right here. Yeah, you can get the little swivel and add that on, but you got one built into this one. See that? That's moving about a half an inch, which is great. Or you can lock it into straight position and it's just gonna stay in absolutely straight. Anyways, I thought I'd share this uh, information with you. I think it's uh, great to, to share as much information, tools, tricks, and so on. And uh, you know, if you have a great tool, one of your favorite tools that you really, really like, and uh, you think I should do a quick review of Post it in the uh, in the comments down below, and I'll uh, I'll have a look at it, and uh, the, may even do a, a quick review on uh, your suggestions. So uh, another thing that I uh, strongly suggest is uh, or ask, not suggest, ask is uh, uh, please click on the subscribe button. Uh, it'll be here or here or somewhere. Don't quite know where it pops up. To be honest, when I'm doing these things, only when I'm editing them and. Uh, Let's face it, with, with, with editing, if I can do a one take like I'm doing right now without messing up, oh, it's so great. Anyways, click on the subscribe button and uh, make sure to click on that little bell as well. The little bell, what that will do is it will advise you um, of the next and latest video that has been uh, made or uploaded by yours truly. So, and the more people that we have subscribe and the more viewers that we have helps tremendously with the channel. It's also a great encouragement uh, for me uh, to know that uh, you guys are watching and um, are using these to help you uh, in any way that I can. The purpose of this channel was since day one is uh, because certain dealerships do not want to deal with the Chrysler Crossfires. Uh, we had to come up on our own and help each other. So it's a very strong community, very supportive community. Uh, we learned a lot throughout the years through a lot of great past members that are that have you know passed on unfortunately throughout the years and uh, or uh, that are still with us but uh, have retired from uh, driving and so forth but we still have tons of great members around uh, that are going from house to house um, you know from town to town city to city we do tech days as well I do tech days here in my garage as well as a few quite a few other members across the straight the states and in, in Europe and stuff like that so it's a uh, it's a great uh, community so I encourage you if you've got a Chrysler Crossfire join the community come on board and take a look at us through uh, the facebook uh we've got uh, some uh, some great pages on there we've got the big uh, international uh, owners group as well uh you have to be an owner obviously to, to join the owners group but uh feel free to join so having said that thank you so much for uh, watching and i really really appreciate your support so have a great day guys